So welcome dear students to the second part or the last part of chapter number 12 that is using input output operations. In the previous chapter we have studied about all the input operations. In this chapter we will be studying about the output functions. Now the inbuilt output function that is the first topic. Now in the previous chapter as we had seen that uh, different uh, input functions are used to input the data. Same way we talk about the output thing. The output can be obtained on the output device like monitor or printer or file. As per our need we need to take the output on these different devices. We will discuss uh, how output can be displayed on the monitor only. Okay. Since uh, moni which is uh, monitor is the standard output device to teach you how to take the printout formatted uh, is not there in the course neither this thing how to take the output in the file is there in our course. Now like uh, input, sending the output to output device is possible through C library functions, right? So the built-in output functions are available in the studio.h header file. So now let us discuss the output related inbuilt functions such as put char put s and printf. Only three functions are there. So we start. First one is put char. The function put char can be used to write a single character to the standard output device. The general syntax of this thing is put char into bracket the name of the variable of which we want to display the value, right? Here the character may be the char data type, care data type variable. Means you cannot display a value lying in integer data type of or float data type using this function, right? So you can display the value lying only if the variable is of character data type or it may be a valid C language character or you can display any valid C language character using put char for example welcome to C language then in double quotes you can type that sentence and display that thing. Now the next thing when the function is executed the character is displayed on the monitor very simple thing. Now, a, an example is given here. We just go through the example. Here, uh, through this example, we are going to make the use of put char. Okay. So, here we declare a character variable grade. Then we give a output on the monitor that enter your grade. Now, we scan the grade, uh, grade using the get char function only. That is grade is equal to get char bracket open bracket close. Now we want to print that your grade is for example I have entered A. Then I want to display here your grade is A. Now see the limitation of put char. I cannot type this sentence here. So I have to use the printf statement. Right? Printf function. So I put a printf here your grade is in the same line will be displayed since I have not uh, given here slash n. So put char into bracket grade. So the value lying in the variable grade with the user had entered will be displayed in the single line. So let's see the output. Enter your grade. So the person entered A. So the output will be your grade is A. Then uh, next thing is put s. Now, 
we may use put as function to display multiple characters. That is to display a string or character array on an output device. Right? The previous thing was able to display only one single alphabet while here we can display whole string. The syntax is put as same syntax into bracket the name of the variable. Where a variable name is the character array or it is a string. The put f function also, put as function also writes the content stored in the variable name to the monitor till the null character is encountered. Okay. That means as we had uh, learned in the previous chapter that uh, whenever you store any string, for example, we store a string hello, okay, H E L L O, then in the bits, the last bit will be stored with the, with the null character, okay. So here it will come to know that here is the ending of the string, so it will get terminated. Now here the example is given of get as function. A character array name state of 20 size. That is it is capable of storing 19 characters. This variable is declared. Okay. Array variable state is declared. Then a printf is given enter your state name. Then get as to value, uh, uh, scan the value get as and state. Now, same like previous example, a separate printf statement is used to print this statement your state name is. In the same line, put as into bracket name of the array variable state. And this will be the output. Enter your name. If a person enters Gujarat, your name, your state name is Gujarat. Now we come to formatted output. Okay. Now the output functions discussed so far gives the output without any sort of formatting. The value stored in variable is simply displayed on the screen. Okay. But sometimes to prepare reports from our program, we want to display the output with formatting which makes it uh, good in look and uh, easy to understand right so in such circumstances what we can use is printf statement there we can use the backslash character also slash n and slash t slash so many things right fine so we discuss about the printf statement I don't have to discuss much about printf because so many times we have already used this thing. The printf function is used to display the formatted output on the screen. The general syntax of printf is printf into bracket double quotes the control string okay double quotes comma and then the name of the variable and if you want to display the value lying in more than one variable then you have to put a comma in between and then you have to type the second third variable name. Now see here where variable 1 or variable 2 till variable n may be variables or constants or expressions whatever thing. The output format specification of a variable is given in the control string. The control string may contain all or some of the following items. First one, set of characters that is string which will be printed on monitor as they appear in control string. Second thing, format specifier for each variable that is percentage %d, percentage %f, percentage %c that thing right. Then escape sequence. Now see in the upper statement it is given that these three things can be used. It depends if you want to display then. Suppose if you want to insert a new line then slash n. If you want to insert a tab then 
slash t if you want to insert backspace slash b right so this whole thing escape sequence also could be used like scanf the control string entire uh, entries are separated by space and uh, preceded by uh, this thing percentage sign right the later part of printf contains the list of the variable these all things i already explained to you now here some examples are given that we will go through suppose if you want to print a string that hello word right then print f and in double quotes you straight away type whatever you want to display on the screen for example enter the value of so and so variable enter your grade whatever that you can display like this way another thing is if you want to display a value lying in variable age of integer data type then here you have to write percent d comma age and here you can add the uh, sentence if you want to add third example is if you want to display a whole sentence that is string lying in a character array student name then percentage s now to display formatted output with uh, different types of alignment we may use specification in control string of printf statement the control string has the following general format percentage l dot m and then comes p here l is an integer number specifying the total number of position in which the variable value is to be printed just now you will not understand when i read this thing just now i will explain you with example while m is used to specify the number of digits after decimal point of a real number or number of characters to be printed from a string variable that thing also you can specify specifying value of uh, uh 1 right and m are optional the p shows the type of variable that is percentage d or means f or c or s now to understand this thing properly uh, before we understand this thing just have a look at this thing you can pause the video and look at this thing that is data types used to used in printf control string the same thing we use for scanf also okay now i come to the example the thing which i was talking just now see here a integer variable number is declared a value 1 2 3 4 is stored here okay now in the fr first print app simple print app which we are uh, used to percentage d slash n comma number so the value of number will be printed as it is here you can see the output 1 2 3 4 no problem in that it is displayed as it is right while print f percentage 8 and d then here what will happen 8 means it will leave eight space here 1 2 this is still uh, displaying mistake it should leave four space in uh, before this thing i will explain you with another example this is not a proper thing okay fine so i explain you with this example see here i have declared a character array s what is the name of the variable s okay i have given the size as 20 okay and i have assigned a value to it that is gujarat space india okay now here when i give the print f slash n percentage s comma s s means the name of this variable then it will display gujarat india as it is okay without any mistake it will display but if i also specify something here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 anything right 9 10 right then what it will do again if the string is longer than this 
then it will display the string as it is. Just try to understand. If the string is longer than this figure which you enter here 8, then it will display as it is. Gujarat India. This is the output of second things. But if you enter a bigger number here, then the first number specifies the number of characters to be displayed. 16. So it will display like this way. It will create 16 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like this way it will create 16 boxes. And in that 16 boxes, it will display the data from the right hand side. Okay, it will align the data to the right hand side. I hope you understood the meaning of this thing. Okay, then print F and that is new line percentage 16.7. Now, what does this 0.7 mean? 0.7 means that you want to display the last seven digits. Oh, sorry, first seven digits. So this Gujarat word is of seven digits. So only Gujarat will be displayed. Then second thing is point seven s. Now just see. Here I have used sixteen point seven. Means what did it do? It allocated here sixteen boxes, right? And it declared the value of only first seven characters, but it displayed it from the right hand side. While here, if you don't mention anything before that point, if you straight away print, for example, point seven, it will display first seven characters as it is. Then minus sixteen. Again, it is given here minus sixteen point nine. That means, first of all, sixteen. Try to understand. It will declare sixteen spaces. And from that, next thing is point nine. So it will display nine digits. But since we have given here minus, so instead of right hand side, it will display it on the left hand side. That is Gujarat seven eight space and ninth is I for India. Like that way. Then sixteen point fifteen. Again, it will declare sixteen and fifteen means all the letters. Length is total length is 15. Then it will display all of them. So these all things are used for uh, giving proper formatting thing. And whatever I read just now was uh, from this thing. It is given in the textbook, but uh, here this thing. But it was confusing me, so I practically did it and then presented it to you. Now this was about character, but if it is about uh, floating number, that is a real number. Then what it will do? So that I will explain. For example, you have stored a value in F. What value have you stored? 123.456. This is the value which you have stored. Remember, 123.456. This is the value which you have stored in F1 variable. If you give simply percentage F and then comma name of the variable, it will print it as it is. It will print zeros in the remaining boxes. Okay, but if you give eight point three, then what it will do? It will allocate eight boxes. Okay, but it will display uh, this uh, point three. The role of point three is it will display three digits after point. These are the three digits which are displayed after the point and it will align it towards the right hand side. Then 8.1. So here it will again 8 means it will allocate 8 boxes and after point 1 digit it will display since it is point 1. Then 08.1. Then in the earlier boxes, empty boxes, it will put 0. Okay. But it will again display only one number after the Point. Here it is minus 8.1. We had learned before also that minus means instead of right hand side, it will display the thing on the left hand side. And after a point, one digit. 10.3. But here, this is uh, exponent and matisa. So this thing I don't know. I will not be able to explain you how this thing works. I am not a maths teacher. Fine. So we complete this chapter over here.
we meet in the next chapter goodbye